G'day and welcome to another Wimble Rant. Today we're looking at an answer that many students give when they're analysing historical sources and it goes a little something like this. The source is biased because the person writing it was biased in some way, therefore it's not reliable and not useful to an historian. I get this answer many times and after a while it gets frustrating so I thought you know what Let's do it as a Wimble rant and clear up a couple of things. First of all, number one, every source is biased. Bias is simply kind of the, uh, the, the subjective way that we look at the world. So we all are inherently biased. We're biased because of our experiences, because of the things we've learnt in school, maybe because of the things our parents have told us, because of our personal experiences, our our favoritism when it comes to certain things. So everything that a historian looks at is biased. The historian knows this. So if a historian was to look at a source and say, oh, that's biased, let's not look at it, then history wouldn't exist because historians would simply say, no, 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 no. No idea what happened. Everything's biased. So that clearly doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen for the second point. The second point is historians aren't unintelligent. Most of them actually have some kind of an idea about the world and they're actually able to take bias into account. And that answer kind of implies that they can't. So what a historian will do is they'll look at one source and say, I can see the bias in this, it's here, here and here. I'll take that bias into account when I read and analyse the source. Even better, I'll find 10 sources. I'll find a couple that are biased this way, I'll find a couple that are biased the other way, I'll find a couple that are biased in a completely different way. And I'll look at all of them and I'll build a picture, hopefully as objective as possible, problem me, me being biased as well, as objective as I can about what actually happened taking that bias into account. So if you're in history sometime and you're analyzing a source for its usefulness and reliability and you come to the conclusion, well, this is very biased or even just a little bit biased, please don't respond with, and therefore it's not useful. Of course it's useful. You just need to say, this bias will need to be taken into account by the historian that's using it and it can still be used for X, Y, and Z, especially if it's a source about the alphabet. Okay, that's enough ranting for now. Any other topics you want me to rant about, comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.